I was very aware how overshadowed this site was. You've got five-storey house to the south of the site, so it's a north-facing garden, and four-storey houses on the other side blocking out a lot of the light, kind of gaps between the buildings that actually became crucial. What we've actually ended up, when you, when you understand it now, is three sources of light, so the, the two garden areas and the skylight are where the light is, and the house is actually built where the shadow is. If you look at this roof, is there a direct link between the shape of it and some environmental condition that exists here? Well, it's an overall environmental condition. It's again a kind of average, optimal place to put a skylight in this three-dimensional volume that would generate the most amount of light all year round. So it's just positioning this skylight really in the maximum daylight, sunlight collecting position you could find, but then affecting everybody else as little as possible. So we've come down one level, haven't we? When what, three and a half metres below ground or something? Yeah, this is one of two light wells courtyards that serve the first basement, but they also have skylights that serve the lowest basement. And this small courtyard is, is uh, bringing light into the guest bedroom, the hallway, and a guest bathroom. Something very particular happens in this house, which is unusual in a London house, which is that you're transported into another world mm. of the sky, the sun, the light, the atmosphere. And when you come downstairs, in a way, you are slightly disorientated, but then to be reminded of where you are and see this Victorian context again is very unusual. Yes, and it does depend where you are in the room itself. So some places you are situated and it's completely private and other places you connect back to these views and the gardens above. Typically people think that you want direct sunlight on you or a place that you can sit in the sun in you know, spring or autumn. But actually, do you think that just to see that patch of sunlight, that's as good in some yes, ways? Yes, I think uh, as long as there's a connection and as long as you know what's happening, that's, I think, the kind of crucial aspect of it. 